Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time we fought what could be accurately described as the coolest boss fight ever. Okay, maybe not quite that good, but still a damn good boss fight. And got the Aquanine, the third and final pure metal necessary to forge the Phantom Sword. We've still been using Osius' sword from the very beginning this entire time, yeah. That thing we did the tutorial with, no upgrade at all. The flaming sword didn't even count as a separate item, it's just a power-up. We got the third and final pure metal and the 16th and final heart container. This time, we've got mail. Letter from King Mudo, and <laughs> brace yourself. Boy clad in green, I was deeply impressed by your immense strength. I present you with a treasure from my kingdom. I hope it serves you well. His Majesty, King Mudo. Official kingdom business gives a power gem. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this, you slob. Store it on the collection screen for now. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? And I'm out of here. There's still a few collectibles to be gained. We have a hammer. Did you forget? Oh, it cuts grass? It pounds the grass so hard that it slashes it. <laughs> I didn't even know. Why would it? I don't need a sword anymore. This thing is superior in every way. Screw the phantom sword. I've already found the treasure that can save the world right here. Anything would follow this thing, not just Bella. <laughs> okay, maybe not innocent civilians, but it's only because they have uh, powers of plot convenience to save them. Still, though, it cuts grass. It hits it so hard that it cuts it. That's amazing. Anyway, I was saying, our collection screen is looking very full right now. We're at 18 courage gems, 19 power gems. But we could stand to have a few more things. That's what we're going to go take care of first. Hey. Are you Beetle's sister, or... Is he cheating on you with Jolene? Things just got a lot thicker. And I ain't talking about either of the ladies in this relate. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> okay, uh, the first stop of the day is here on Murkay with a very easily missed collectible that, I guess if there was any collectible for me to miss, this one, it makes sense why it would be this one. You wanna go over to this bridge over by Friedel on the way to the Temple of the Ocean King, use the boomerang to hit this switch that is out of view, causing a chest to spawn in and, it's a Courage Gem! It just so happens, the only two collectibles that I've missed throughout this entire journey are Courage Gems. And I don't think it's that bad because you couldn't possibly have all 20 Courage Gems before this point. We still got the 10 Courage Gems as soon as we could, so we just kind of sweet spotted our missed collectibles because the 20th and final Courage Gem was in the temple that we just cleared. <sighs> Back out on the high seas. I know it's less heart containers because it's no longer a complete set, but... Couldn't resist the allure of making Linebeck sleep inside the world's deadliest meatball. And the second stop of the day is a personal favorite, the Goron Isle. I feel like I did this already, but I suppose I didn't. Yeah, there's a treasure chest up here by grapple hooking over from that Goron that was afraid of the yellow choo-choo, and that contains a courage gem. I'm glad the Gorons could be the one to top us off and finish up all this traveling. We'll present the Courage Gems. All of them. So far, you have found 20 Courage Gems. With this many gems, the Spirit of Courage's power will be awakened. Come forth, Spirit of Courage. Using the gems that Link has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. Spirit of Courage has been powered up. Your sword shockwaves are maxed. Swap spirits on the collection screen. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. This power is disappointing. I'm sorry, Ciela, you really got shafted. It doesn't raise the attack power of your sword beams. It just makes them fatter so that it's easier to land hits with, which I didn't have too much of a problem with in the first place. I'm sure all of you can point out at least 50 instances of my sword beams missing before and are gonna tell me that I shouldn't get a big head about my sword beams because there's plenty of evidence to the contrary. 
But I still think it's disappointing that they don't hit any harder and it just makes it easier to land your hits. We'll use them for a while because they're at least cool looking. They're like some kind of destructo disc at a Dragon Ball Z or something. They look awesome, but yeah, not any more powerful. Just a lot easier to land your mark. Hi, going over this section in post to tell you that you are able to get the 20th and final power gem. I'm going to be doing it a little bit later because I thought it was in a different location when I recorded this. So that's why I didn't get the Spirit of Power fully upgraded. Regardless, I would want to show off the Spirit of Courage's power anyway for a little bit, so it's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. what is that? Oh, the two fish are on top of each other. I was thinking like, whoa, what's that freaky mutant fish on the on top screen? <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, those two fish were uh, making magic together, and now weren't they? Uh, I think it's as good a time as any for us to go after that thing. Um, maybe I'll go down here and try to get a ship part while I'm at it, just because it's right in the way. Mermaid Prow. I took a break from saving the world when I am right on the cusp of getting the item that allows me to slay Bellum. You better have a stowfish sucking your crotch. You suck for not having a sucker stuck to you. Another day, another Beetle Jolene affair. Uh, it is a new day, so I'll go and check it. Oh, Jolene. Jolene's running away. We came between them. Literally and figuratively. Beetle, is there something you want to tell? Okay, it's just the golden wheel. All right, that would be easy points to get to the 2000 and a tropical ship. We're actually missing the tropical ship, but I don't have the rupees to buy it right now. I'll be back. I always come back. Another deadly meatball. <laughs> Dead on arrival. Two mermaid pro. Uh, see what I mean about some ship parts just inherently feeling more common? Tropical ship is mine. Slightly more importantly, the points are mine. Point total has climbed to 176. Just to be clear, all of the non golden ship part series will give you the same buffs. It is only the golden ones that are special and give different buffs. So as long as you have one completed set, you effectively have them all unless you care about just sake of having a f more full item screen. Um, I don't technically need to buy ship parts anymore now that I have completed one series. I was just buying them all before this point because I uh, wanted to complete anything that I could. So any ship part could be the key to completing a series down the line. That's more how I was thinking of it. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to get through Jolene to have another shot at my coveted stowfish. Still no stow- I have put in the hours to get this thing. Give it to me already. It's the only collectible that I could have that I don't that isn't a random ship part. On the... Uh, bright side? Uh, I'll go with shiny side because he's he's got the gold mask thing going on. Um, Beetle's shop ship was replaced with the mast ship in the time that it took to go over there, fight Jolene, and try to get the stowfish. So I guess we'll see what his inventory is looking like today. His remodeled interior includes a golden wheel for 7,000 rupees. I'm sorry, I don't like being scammed. It's already happened to me twice. Not by you, Mast Ship, no, uh, by someone else. What were we doing again? Oh, right, saving the world, yeah. Every, so many shiny things just love popping up on the horizon of the waters to distract you from whatever your current goal is, because you got fishing, you got salvaging, fights with pirate ships, um, shops around there, Jolene stopping you on your way to go get stuff that you want. It's pretty rich with stuff, as we have seen. Zao's the blacksmith. We owe you a house call. Zao's Island. Such an extreme name. It's like Bowser with a Z. Zao's Island. 
Only when you have the apostrophe S added. Zowzes! So you have found the three pure metals, Link. I'm not surprised. You have always been the true hero chosen by the Ocean King. Well then, please hand me the pure metals. The Crimsonine, the Azurine, and the Aquanine. I've never seen metal like this. I'll bet I can forge a mighty sword with them. But it will take some time. Forging a great magical sword is not a simple task. Have some patience. You don't know who you're dealing with. I've been to Cinnabar Island before. I know what these lengthy processes take. Never mind, I'm a fool. Special delivery. Letter from Jolene. It should be a good one. You you totally took this job just so you could get it out of people's drama. I would do the same. Little boy in green. So you got me and you got me good. Humiliation burns hot in my pirate blood. And so my mind is haunted with one searing word. Revenge! Yes, I demand a rematch to see who's truly the strongest on the sea. I've sharpened my skills since we last clashed. I am unbeatable. All will fall beneath my blade. Oh yes, somewhere on these vast seas, our paths will cross again. If you have any honor at all, you will meet me in battle one last time. The mighty she pirate, Jolene. And that's all it says. Bit disturbing, wasn't it? Were you just challenged to a duel? Get that often? Whoa, first threatening letter I've seen. Okay, sign here, sir. Hopefully she doesn't de defeat you. I have not changed my stance on your person. Woo, thanks so much. You made my day, sir. I'm walking on air. What? We got a letter to do from Jolene challenging us to a duel. Not actually going to accept, are you? Nah. Yeah, I say all ranters and ravers should be ignored. Let's just take it easy until the Phantom Sword is complete. We can't leave without accepting the duel. No, you don't have to respond to her ranting and raving, don't you? She's your crazy friend. She is not just a friend. What is Lincoln stuck in the middle of this? She can't deal with people who are stronger than she is. That's all. People are jealous. They ha they see my handsome face and have to challenge me. They just don't understand that Linebeck's true love is peace. What I'm saying is, I avoid a fight wherever and whenever I can. There's just something about her that doesn't seem quite right. I can't deal with her anymore, Link. But there is a part of me that would like to set Jolene straight. And only you can do that, kid. Just show her how weak she really is. We've got to show her how crazy she is and restore peace to the seas, I guess. Always thinking about yourself. So what should we do, Link? We can't just ignore her, and it seems like Zaus needs some time. Maybe we should check things out. I knew you'd say that. I should have said what I knew you'd say. All right, Crazy Jolene, we're coming for you. Prepare to set sail, kid. smells fishy and it ain't just Jolene you did not need to hear that I want to go after that thing I need to go after it some of you have been telling me that I should probably be going after the roundy nose fish too if I want to grind for the stowfish and show it just that badly because apparently Luvars are able to have stowfish on them too you're just probably more likely to see them on uh, the needle nose variety because you're not let you're not guaranteed to get a luvar from a roundy nose whereas from a pointy nose you're guaranteed to get a fish that has at least some chance of having the stowfish on it i'll keep that in mind if we go too much longer without running into it because there ain't a whole lot of game left to look for it and please just give me the stowfish give me the pizza wow made both of them explode at the same time that was some style points
doesn't have any particular meaning, but it somehow makes me happy. An item description has never understood me on such a deep spiritual level. Oh, it's finally fine. But I have to go take care of Jol Jolene. You had better not kill me in this fight and cause me to game over. And go, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna finish, justify finishing that sentence. I am saving right here, right now, before there is any chance of anything stupid happening. Uh, I was wrong about one thing. How fitting that I was wrong about this of all things. Uh, the stowfish does show up on the screen, but there is no record for having caught a certain size of it. All that matters is that you've caught it at all. I suppose if you want to get really technical, catching 999 of it is the true 100%. But I don't hate myself that much. Jolene! Oh, Jolene! You are not dealing with a young boy anymore. No, I have become a man. Couldn't you tell by my girlish wail that I had right there? I'll break your ship in two no matter where you run into the messy. Stay put! Now you heard the woman. <laughs> Thought I had the timing, but I guess I'm just used to the timing when I'm moving. Bah! Ambush! What do I want for this fight? Maybe maybe I will try the sword beams. Just to kind of see how they work out for me. Well, no, I should probably have the flame sword on. Let's be real. Ah, I'm happy to see that you are well, boy in green. I've heard all ab about all you are trying to accomplish. Ha! Spare me the innocent act. Everyone knows what's going on. Yes, about the monster Bellum and the phantom sword that is its bane. You there, wooden box, you'd better listen up too. Boy in green, you are attempting something that only a fool would try. Who you are trying to save is irrelevant. If you face that monster, your efforts and your life will be wasted. That said, if you have no care for your own safety or survival, well then, face me. For I have perfected the art of pirate fencing. Hold still for a moment. Not on your life! Oh, whoa, that's actually a really short window of time. She is quite a bit tougher now, actually. I think her attacks hit for more damage, and the window of time is a lot shorter to deal with her. She also just seems more aggressive. I'm not sure if there's any actual proof on that, but I've heard of this giving people a hard time, even though she was easy as pie before. Anytime you want to lunge at me. Time. I also like how she was beating up on us this entire time anyway, even though she knew Linebeck was in the box. <laughs> it's like she just wants to mess with us. <laughs> Come on. Oh, ha! Roll out of the way and rub her up good. This isn't over yet. Ha! Oh, no. Even tighter now. You coming? I need to choose my words better. Wow, like every single word I say, I keep thinking like, oh wow, that could be construed as this, but <laughs> it's just impossible when you're speaking English and you've lived for as long as a, a high schooler. Come on, Let's stop it. <laughs> just, she really does hit for a lot of damage actually. The Spirit of Wisdom might've been a good pick. You gonna do your attack, please? No, ah, oh, damn it. It's too far, I was in front, not in the back. Thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> Maybe if I just piss her off, she'll come out. There we go. Ha yes! You're still strong, boy in green. I think that what you're attempting to do is crazy, and yet there's something about your stubborn personality that draws me. The one who captivated me so long ago had that same look in his eyes. Boy in green, speak to the man in the crate for me. Advise him that he should take notes, for he might learn something. You... You are a fool, Linebeck. Ew, what was that girl's problem? See, this is why I don't understand a woman. Hey, Linebeck? How exactly do you know that woman? Oh. 
Well, it was a while ago. I was just cruising through these waters. Anyway, I, I happened to sail by just as her ship was attacked by a monster. What can I say? I slammed into the beast with my ship and saved the day! Wow. That's impressive. Well, if I'm being totally honest here, I was just trying to get away, see? I sort of lost control of my ship and it just happened to strike the beast. So after that, Jolene and I traveled together for a time, but... Pretty soon, I realized the two of us were from different worlds. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but she was a lot tougher than I. Plus, I wasn't cut out for the rough-and-tumble life of a pirate. Yeah, I always preferred the laid-back style of just sneaking off with the treasure. Anyway, Jolene and I started seeing less and less of each other. I knew I had to end it, and, well, you know. What? Well, I made off with some of her treasure. You terrible man! Lineback, how could you? <laughs> uh, anyway, ever since, Jolene has been trying to get her revenge on me. The thing is, it wasn't even that great of a treasure. I didn't think it was worth so much that she'd follow me around like this. That is one persistent woman, let me tell you. Oh, Lineback, you really are dense, aren't you? He has been unaware this entire time. It's not that he's a lady killer and that he knows it. He's just an idiot. <laughs> uh, wouldn't have you any other way, buddy. Before we go back to Zhao's the blacksmith, I believe we have a side quest to turn in. Yes! <laughs> All the way, Farer. I don't need to hear about your heart made of wood. What's this? Look here. There's a little stowfish lashed onto the fish. That little fish of pure adventure symbolizes the wayfarer's lifestyle. You. You're naive, yes, but you know what it is. What it is to follow your heart. <laughs> I think this little discovery deserves a small gift. Seriously, after all that time, you give me the one ship art that I said looks stupid? Why do I even play games? <laughs> Happens every time. That is renewable for a ship part every single time. And I thought I would also tell you, as a general tip for collecting ship parts, anytime that something renewable gives you a ship part, you can save just before obtaining it, and it will be different every time you reload. It's very exploitable, makes grinding for them a lot easier because it's not rolled when you catch the stowfish or when you, I don't know, when you start up a new game and the treasure chests are rolled, no. It is rolled when you open the chest or when you beat the mini game or whatever. Now with the stowfish taken care of, I think we got places to be. Back at Zouz's. Oh, that's a sick blade. That is a sick blade. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that's it. It's complete. It's perfect. Please take it, Link. You got the sword blade! It doesn't have a handle, so you can't hold it. Huh? The sword doesn't have a handle to hold it with. It's still not complete. Hmm. I cannot call it truly complete without a handle. Take this blade to the Ocean King. He will add the Sand of Hours. Only he can empower the Phantom Sword with the ability to control time. Got it. Thank you. Come on. Let's hurry up and go to Grandpa Link. A sword that can cut through time? Sign me up! You actually did it! The Phantom Sword is finally complete! What? You want to go to the old man? Fine, fine. Bro, don't back sass. That's where you're going to redeem your wish, remember? So... You were able to get the Sacred Blade forged. You must guard it well. It is very important. With it, you can make a sword to defeat Bellum. Hand me the Phantom Hourglass, Link. <laughs> Bellum is the evil that consumes life. He can attack with furious strength. 
He can also use the power he stole to deflect attacks. The only item that can slay him is the Phantom Sword. thing in it after all you got the sacred phantom sword this mighty sword has the power to defeat bellum rare metals and mystical sands are fused together and so the phantom sword is born with that you can defeat bellum we are all counting on you, Link. <laughs> 